G'day Oprah, my name is Emily Paula and I want to tell you a story about a man who's changed my life. Jim Steins is a true Aussie hero, not because he's changed my life, but because he actually has changed the lives of over 500,000 young people across Australia. Jim runs an organisation called REACH and REACH is an organisation that continues to work with teenagers from all walks of life increasing their self-belief and giving them the support that they need. When I first met Jim and Reach, I was not the powerful, strong, beautiful woman that you see today before you, that in actual fact, I was pretty lost. I was sexually abused as a kid. My parents had passed away and the only way I could deal with losing both of them and the pain and sadness was probably by getting into drugs and alcohol. But the thing about Jim, he was such a positive influence on me. Um, he said to me, you know, Emily, uh, your past does not have control over your future. And in actual fact, you're the one that has the power in the now. And that's what I love about Jim. And that's why I really want you to meet him, because I feel like after all of the years that Jim's been working with Reach, Jim now faces his greatest challenge. Jim has cancer. So Oprah, I want to tell you and show you right now Jim's story and how powerful it is. Take a look. And I've said this you know, plenty of times, the greatest footy story our game's ever seen. Irish kid, never played, comes across, wins a brand loan. I was probably addicted to anything exciting. Then I took on the role as president of the Melbourne Footy Club. So I was getting a bit consumed and it was probably a bit, a bit too much of the ego. Demon President Jimmy Stein, it's good to have you with us, Jim. Since assuming control of the presidency last year, Jim Stein has re-energised the demons. Today though, that energy was replaced with raw emotion. Yeah. Try and get through this in one piece. I heard in the initial diagnosis, which was, Jim, you've got cancer in a number of places in your body. This neurosurgeon went and tested me, and he said, um, look, we've got to get you in and get another scan. And yeah, apparently on the, the scan you had yesterday, there's a new one that's oh, close to... Seriously? Yeah, little one that's a little bit like this too. There's one there and there's one there. Uh, he's had three massive tamazepam tablets, 10 milligrams each. I want to see your ass. <laughs> that was so hard. ball. Just throw the ball. Oh! That didn't work, did it? No one inside, no alibi. We fade in faster than the speed. Because I've often said to him, you just can't leave me here on my own to do this. Because he was always, you know, he's the one there at the end of the day when I'm a mess. And... You know who's at home watching this game sitting up in his bed? Jimmy Stein's watching. Oh, what, what mess is oh, 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 oh. you going to sit in this last quarter? Oh, oh, oh. Face with death, the ego just drops its barriers. I needed to live a better life, and getting cancer has led me to a much better life. So, Oprah, you can see why this man is so amazing. That even when he faces death, He's still asking himself, what's the lesson in this? And how can I teach others? Ugh, that's remarkable. And it's anyone who ever watched the documentary, it exceeded their expectations. And I think that's because of Jim's raw honesty. And you can feel his passion for human connection. I mean, when I watched it, it left me asking myself, what are you going to do with your life, Emily? And I know now that my dream is to set up an organisation called The X Tribe, which I'm going to collect all the women who believe in unleashing potential in all females, because Australian women need that. 
There's not a lot of female role models. I mean, there's you, but there just isn't a lot in Australia. And so I know that just like Jim, I want to be in service to others. I want to be a voice to women who don't have one. And I know that they say that if you want to live your dream, you first have to know what you want. And Oprah, I want you to meet Jim. And I want to be able to have a conversation with you and share with the world Jim's message of hope. Hopefully there's an opportunity here that we can do that. Thank you for listening. Appreciate it. See you soon. BFFs?